Be All right, good. I'm going to show you how to do a uh, limp arm, lazy arm. Some guys call it air guitar from 50-50 uh, position in wrestling. Also, uh, I think Eddie Bravo calls it a like a dog fight. Okay. So, however we get there, we're ending up right here, side to side. I've got an overhook, and he's got a. I've got an underhook. He's got an overhook. He starts to drive my shoulder down, and if I don't do anything, one, I run the risk of getting my shoulder kind of jacked up, and also if he drives me over, he can flatten me out to the mat right here, okay? So I don't want to get flattened out. There's there's a few different options. The one that I'm going to show you today is really, really simple, uh, and if you're not a wrestler, it's something that you can throw into the game pretty easily, okay, without having to be, uh, you know, uh, super good from this position. So we get under here, okay, and I start to fight right here. He starts to get that over it. So if I don't react quickly... I'm going to end up getting flat down the mat. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to sort of relax my arm and just swing it through. Boom. And we're going to come right behind the person. And again, if in wrestling, this would uh, give me two points. Uh, in jiu-jitsu, this would go ahead and allow me to start putting them in the hooks and take them back, finishing this guy, right? So again, we get here to the side. I'm driving in. He starts to drive back into me to stop me. Boom. The arm right around to the side here. And when you first drill this position, you really want to exaggerate that with that swinging motion, okay? Um, you don't because if you don't make if you don't make it wide enough, if I just kind of go shallow with it, I'm going to leave my body open, okay? So I really want to come back. I'm here driving in, boom, swing it out to the side here, nice and quickly. Let's give you a couple different angles here, side to side here again. Okay. And again, this position most commonly I see it a lot of times if, uh, let's say the guy's in side control and I manage to pop the arm out and I come up for a side control, maybe trying to get a takedown or whatever, and the guy bases out and boom, right here. Okay. It could have also happened if we were down on the knees. I shoot in, boom, try to work my way out. There it is. Right here. And uh, so, so something to look for if you get caught in that position. Uh, and actually I have uh, Keevan here. Uh, doing it in the video that's going to follow this technique. Thanks.